Emory Anderson here. What's going on, Kenfo? Check it. There's been a question that has plagued men for centuries. I've always thought it was rhetorical, never really looking to give an answer. But across our nation, it has left philosophers, mathematicians, scientists, theologians, but mainly wives looking for an answer and a solution to it. Oh, you want to know what the question is, huh? Why'd you leave the toilet seat up? Psh, I don't know. But thinking through it, I got a couple thoughts on the subject matter. Growing up, I was blessed enough to have my own bathroom. I wasn't worried about who was coming in after me. There was only one toothbrush in that bathroom. Mine. Put the toilet seat down, and I don't need to. For what? For who? I was only concerned about what was convenient for me. In my context, I saw nothing wrong with it. But that's it. It's about context. Single male soldier living in the barracks, leave the toilet seat up, nothing wrong with it. Two male roommates, got your little bachelor pad, toilet seat left up, nothing wrong with it. Married man now, living with a woman, toilet seat left up. What works in one context doesn't always work in another. A routine, practice, or habit that no one ever batted an eye at before might be worth taking a second look when put into a different context. A fashionable pea coat looks good on you in the wintertime. Put that same coat on in the summer. Now you just look silly. Marriage changes your life context. How you live, choices you make, what's priority, but here's a little M gem. Maturing in your context can minimize your conflict. You know what you know. And once you know what you don't know, that's where there's room to grow. Kenfo, I appreciate you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this page. I'm just trying to give you a few nuggets for your nuptials and hopefully some wisdom to help you win after the wedding. And until next time, it's your boy M signing out.